Right, this is a demo showing you how to deploy an ADF application to a Glassfish server. So the first step you do is you download Glassfish and you install it. This is what I did here. I have a Glassfish 3.21 instance on my machine. And what I'm going to do next is actually navigate to the domain that was created as part of the installation into the lib directory. And over to here I copied the ADF Essential zip file. So this is a zip file that you get from OTN when you download ADF Essentials. Then what you do is um, open a prompt here in this directory and you can unzip the file okay but use a minus J option okay and when you do this you get all the libraries that you need to run ADF um, installed into this directory okay so this is the structure of the directory now you can actually remove this file now because you don't need it anymore um, the next step is to do a couple of configuration on Glassfish. So to do that, um, you invoke the admin console for Glassfish and you log in. Okay. To invoke the admin, you go to port 4848. That's the default port. You might have changed it during installation. And what we're going to do here is go into the um, configuration and we look under server config JVM setting okay we have a bunch of JVM options here that are defined and we actually need to um, modify or actually add a couple okay so um, one thing that you probably want to do is make sure that you have enough memory here the perm size okay and then the other thing that is unique to ADF is a new JVM option that handles where the MDS cache is going to be. So put this in here and save. Okay. After we set the properties here, we need to restart the server. You can do it in various ways. I'm going to actually do it directly from JDeveloper. I installed my little Glassfish extension and I can stop the server. and then I can start it again. Right. Now we can go back and go back to the admin. We need to log in again. So the next thing we're going to do here is define a JDBC connection. Okay, we're starting with a connection pool definition. Create a new one, call it with a name, select the type of um, resource. We're going to use an XA data source. Okay, and in my case, we're using an Oracle database. Now there's a bunch of properties here that we need to set for the connection. So, username, database name, password, server name, driver type, we're using a thin driver, JDBC driver, um, and then if we scroll down, there's also the port name that we need to set. So all of those are basically um, definitions for a local Oracle XC database using the summit user in the database. We click finish, we can go back in here and actually ping to test our connection. And ping should be succeeded. Right. Once you define the connection pool, you need to define a JDBC resource. So let's define a new one. So the new one, we're going to name it summit DS. Okay. Um, and then it's important to choose here the JDBC connection pool that you created before. Now this name is a name that you need to remember because you're going to use it later on in your application model configuration. Anyway, you click OK and that's this part. So now that our data source is defined, we can go over to our application and modify it as needed. So here we have the Summit ADF application and the first step is to go into the model project 
and you find out your application model. So we actually have several here. The main one, or the root one, is this one. Okay. So you need to change the configuration here of the connection to use the data source and specifically to use the data source you just defined on your glass free server so in our case we called it summit vs save next thing is to tell our view controller project that we're actually deploying to glassfish to do this you double click the project go into deployment find out the existing deployment profile click to edit it and in platform switch over to glassfish 3.1 click OK twice, you're back here, save and you need to do the same for the application itself so go to the application properties, deployment, edit, platform and set this one also to be glassfish 3.1 OK twice, save and that's it now you can actually go and deploy your application Okay, so this is deployment from the application level. You can either deploy to a new file or if you want to deploy directly to the Glassfish server. To do that, you create a connection to the server. Make sure your ports are correct. In my case, the HTTP port is a little different and test the connection. Okay. Have your connection defined, click next and finish. This would take J Developer into the deployment phase. You can follow it in the deployment log window. Once the deployment is finished, you can actually invoke the application. And copy the URL that you use to run the application on the embedded web logic and then switch over and switch the port to point to your Glassfish server. And your application would come up in your browser and you'll be able to navigate and work with data. That's it.